So we've talked about glitches in Fortnite before here on the channel, right, Shifty? Correct! Right, okay, cool. But what about the ones that are weird? Ooh well, these ones are weird and they still work. In any case, uh, we've got some glitches to show you guys and some codes for you, or code for you to use. It's one code. Use code T5G in the item shop. Use it and then comment your Epic Games username and we will shout out some people that use the code in one of our next videos. Number 10, the baller launch glitch. There's a lot of glitches in Fortnite and they vary in all kinds of ways. Some will be used to gain the advantage in battle by wall breaching and picking everyone off from the safety of their glitch. Others might simply have a trippy visual effect like that time we had broken leg animations. Man, those were simpler times. Because the never-ending supply of new and unique items Fortnite add to this game, the more ludicrous these glitches can get. This type of glitch is great if you've ever dreamed of going to space, but not so great if you want to play Fortnite and actually win the game because this glitch can screw you up. It's caused by a combination of the ballers interacting with teleportation mechanics, like the Stranger Things portals and the rifts. As always, we don't want to encourage the use of these glitches, so we won't tell you the whole method, but what can result is you being launched across the map at the speed of light and into the barrier at the top of the map, instantly eliminating you. The glitch does take a few specific requirements for it to happen, so the chances of this occurring by accident are slim, just not impossible. The only real benefit to this is if they jump out before hitting the barrier, and then they can redeploy to the location of choice, which is literally anywhere now that you'll be gliding down for the next five minutes. Number nine, the Porta Rift Shooting. By far, one of the most used recent glitches is the ability to shoot just after using a rift to go. It's opened up the ability to instantly assassinate your unsuspecting opponents, and I've seen even a fair amount of pro players using this every now and then. So why has it been used so much if it's a glitch? Surely they could get banned. Well, first of all, we need to break down how this actually works. When you use a rift to go, it teleports you up into the air, and you're put into a very brief animation where you're spawned on your back. As that animation is about to transition into the free-falling mode, there's a brief millisecond or two in which your character is completely normal standing in midair holding the gun. That's the moment you can use your weapon if you time it right. Now this trick is amazing to see for the first time, but you can't help but admit how cheap it is. You can literally teleport an enemy out of his little turtle cave and shoot him before they even know what's happening. But at the end of the day, it's not a glitch that they broke the game making. It's just a slight flaw in how the rift to go works. So it's hard for Fortnite to ban players for abusing their own mistake. I'm sure they'll have to fix it for soon, but in the meantime, don't be that person. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Fred. Number eight, the double pump glitch. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the pump shotgun being back? I know it's been a little while now, but it's nice to have it back in the game. There's a lot of players who still prefer the combat, and I'm sure plenty of you have been brutalizing with the more recent drum shotgun. But we made this whole deal about the pump getting removed and never really appreciated it coming back. However, with the pump coming back, we've also seen the return of one of Fortnite's most beloved meta memes, the double pump. Back in the old school days, you could carry two pumps and continuously switch between the two to avoid any shooting delays. As you can imagine or remember, it was definitely overkill and was removed, and you know, we're happy about that, but we're also kind of sad. This time, the double pump trick simply works by continuously switching out a pump shotgun that's on the floor. You can do this back and forth firing just as if the old pump double pump trick was back. However, it is obviously limited to where the weapon is located located on the floor. So even though you could attempt to do this while moving, it would be way too much of a struggle. And even though it's a very nostalgic glitch, it's not that effective unless you're camping up. Might be a good glitch for any newcomers to try on creative just to see what it was like in the old days though. Number seven, the merge skins glitch. So this is one glitch that I'm actually gonna try out myself. I know, I know, but you're not allowed to top five gaming. Well, this doesn't actually involve any in-game mechanics or anything that'll give you an advantage. Because it's a purely cosmetic bug, this essentially allows you to put any skin who has unique head designs onto the body of any other skin. So in this example, they're using the Black Knight and Hybrid. You favorite the two skins you wanna merge and then put your skin choice on random. Now you'll need to enter creative mode and then quit out quickly. It may take a few attempts, but eventually you'll find that the two skins will end up merging in some way. I can't imagine Epic Games being too fussed about this and could even see them leaving it in because it's just a cosmetic bug and a cool one at that. In fact, why doesn't Fortnite give us the ability to switch out different parts of an outfit for the skins we own anyway? I mean, it would add a lot more variety in skins. I can already imagine the Black Knight body and Pink Cuddle Team Leader head combo. 
Number six, the settings llama glitch. When new items and mechanics are introduced to the game, I'm always looking to see how to most effectively use them. When the llamas were first brought to the game, I did a whole bunch of tests to see what the distance llamas would render in at if I could perhaps see them from the battle bus and dive straight to it. Well, it didn't go that well as the furthest away I could see them without a scope was three to 400 meters. Apparently I'm a complete idiot though, because all it took was a few adjustments to the visual settings and suddenly llamas were rendered in from thousands of meters away. You know those times where you miss something so simple? Yep, yeah, that's one of those moments for me right now. This ability is obviously going to be adv advantageous for anyone doing it, so I can imagine Fortnite will fix this later down the line, but at the same time, I can't see it being their top priority. Although this is Fortnite, they seem to do everything all at once. And in it's your number five spot, what number are we at? Invisible traps and floors. This spot on the list in particular has actually been around since the beginning of the game. When you're building on ground level, especially on uneven ground, a lot of the build will go into the floor. This can allow you to place tiny, unsuspecting traps all over the map. I'm sure you've probably seen the odd wall barely peeking out of the floor with a trap waiting on one side for any clueless passerby. However, in certain locations of the map, you can place almost completely invisible and indestructible traps. But as the map changes and the community's map knowledge continues to grow down to the tiniest of details, we find places like this near the Mega Mall, where you can't even see the wooden platform below where the trap is placed. You can barely see the trap itself. It'll still activate, but because we don't have direct access to the wooden platform, it's now indestructible. I can definitely see why they allow this in certain spots, but when it's completely through the map like this, I think they'll need to patch these particular kinds of spots. Which brings me to my next point, uh, point number four, the unlimited ice glitch. Now, personally, I'm not a fan of people abusing glitches. I don't see the problem if people are just having a look and checking it out for themselves. But when you start using it to wipe squads, it's just a little bit toxic. On the other hand, you get glitches like this that I just can't resist trying out for myself and having some fun with. I mean, this bug will allow you to keep the ice blocks on from the freeze trap for as long as you're on your own building because as soon as you touch ground, it'll stop. So as long as you've got a ton of mats, you can have permanent ice boots. I can already imagine a floor is lava challenge while well, having this glitch maybe build a giant trap propelling me across the map although the moment someone spotted i'd be wrecked for one i wouldn't be able to exactly have a build battle with ice boots on and for two i'd be in a glitch so i wouldn't want to put up a fight just wanted to have some fun sliding around the map you can have my loot buddy it's all yours now number three the hidden trap trick so let us know if you think this spot is a glitch or just a really good trick. Either way, it's actually pretty ingenious. We've seen trap tunnels since the dawn of Fortnite. They've been simple little one-by-ones at first with a door and bait loot, but even though we've got smarter with our traps and avoiding them, the trap tunnels are also getting a lot more difficult for people to actually fall for. Usually there's always somewhere you can look to spot if there's a trap first. And yeah, you can see the trap here, but it's so small that most players would easily just not notice it, especially considering it's a new form of trap tunnel that you just wouldn't expect to work. You build your normal one by one with a trap on the ceiling, but the difference here is you, you also place a roof build on the floor, edit that on into a Dorito shape, and then the walls into the corresponding triangle pieces to cover the trap. You now have yourself the nearly invisible Dorito trap tunnel. The fact that the trap still activates though, though it is surprising, and I'm sure there'll be plenty of these clips going around YouTube until they decide to fix. As a tip though, just be careful of the Dorito builds at the moment and look at the very top of them to see if there's any gray of the spike trap sticking through if you ever have to pass one. Number two is the resize your character glitch. We've seen the ability to merge different characters together, but what about the power of Ant-Man? Imagine being able to be as small as the grass you walk in or as the tool as the hills and mountains around you. Well, you can. It can only be done in creative and doesn't seem to be game breaking in any way, except for perhaps the visual effects, but as you can see, you can literally change your size with this creative glitch. When you use the prop gun and become a prop of your choosing, if you back up the island and then restore it, you'll be spawned in as the size of the prop you were, but in your normal skin. The smaller props seem to work best as the bigger ones just cause your character to be near uncontrollable. In all honesty, I'd love if Fortnite made size and characters an actual thing in creative. It would open up a whole new world of creative maps. Just imagine the miniature death runs, giant traps all around you, poison darts the size of spear. Definitely would be a win. But in at number one, we've got the self-killing trap. A little while back now, Fortnite introduced this new building mechanic that allowed you to place traps without first placing a build in which you place the trap. It can be quicker in some aspects, but there's still a part of the community that don't agree with the change. After all, it did open up the way for invisible trap placements like we saw at the number five spot. In this clip, it also caused something very confusing to happen, and let me know if you can figure it out. But while in a build fight, Bob E. Bot somehow managed to trap himself. You see that both the traps show a friendly color, so, so why is it that Bob's still getting spiked? Well, 
it turns out that this new trap placement mechanic actually allows for players to place two traps inside each other when pressed at the exact same time. This way, it looks blue because it's your trap, but there's also an enemy trap underneath. That must have been one of the biggest what in tarnation moments they've had in on Fortnite. And hey, if you think that being scared to death by waking up suddenly by people yelling at you is scary, then you'll love our video of the top five scariest Fortnite maps that will horrify you. Keep it real on Top 5 Gaming.